Hi, I'm Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. This video is the first in a series on using Akiba Backup to backup your Joomla site. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install and configure Akiba Backup for manual backups. And in the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to schedule a backup using a cron job and then how to restore your site from an Akiba Backup file. So let's go ahead and get started with this first tutorial. So head on over to AkibaBackup.com. There's several products that Akiba has. Um, we'll be we're looking just for Akiba Backup. And as of this video, the most current version is 3.6.8. So that's the one we're going to download. All right, and once the, the zip file is downloaded, we're going to install it onto our Joomla site. We'll be installing it on this site. This is Kotoba. This is my, our free uh, Joomla template. If you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and uh, check it out here, this URL, and give it a download. It's a great template, and it's really easy to use. Anyway, so back to the... Um, on the admin side, just going to go to extensions, extensions manager, and locate that zip file we downloaded. All right, and once you install Akiba Backup, you may get this message saying you're using an outdated version of PHP. Now, this isn't uh, this isn't a bad thing right now. It's just saying that. Future versions of Akiba Backup, like when you when a future version comes out, usually you can just automatically update it from within the Joomla administrator, and you just have to be careful because uh, future versions will only be compatible to PHP 5.3 or higher. So if your hosting account is on PHP 5.2, you may see this message, but don't be alarmed. Uh, Akiba Backup will still work. And uh, you may want to contact your hosting provider to ask them about uh, upgrading to PHP 5.3. Okay, so back to the tutorial. The installation went fine. Now we're just going to find it in Components, Akiba Backup. Okay, now post-installation, we're going to get this Akiba Backup uh, configuration screen. There's a couple options here. We have uh, Akiba has the ability to do system restore points. Um, which will create a backup uh, every time you install any new extension. Um, and it also has uh, automatic uh, backup emails. Um, however, these, these features are only available in Akiba Backup Professional. So if you do want to pay for the professional license, by all means, go ahead and do that, and you'll have these, these two options available. So for now, we're just going to run the configuration wizard. As this page says, don't navigate from the screen, just let it sit here and do its thing and you'll, you'll see the updated uh, status when it's done. Okay, and the benchmark tests are complete. The Akiba Backup was set up successfully and you can do two things. You can either back up your site right now or you can head over to the configuration and I'm going to open the configuration panel first so I can just go over a few settings. Okay, the basic configuration is going to have a bunch of default settings. It's best to just leave these as they, as they are. Your output directory, um, by default, it'll be somewhere in your system in your system admin folder. You can change that to wherever you want, but um, that's good for now. Um, you can change the backup name. Okay, and this section is the quota management. This is a pretty important section to keep an eye on. This is uh, where you tell Akiba how many previous backups to keep a record of, uh, when to delete the files, etc. If you have a if you have a server with limited storage space, then you're going to want to um, change these settings. So uh, the records. Uh, this is just the records, like the log files. Um, we can leave that to to the de at the default. You can set a size quota for the backup. You can enable the count quota. This will tell Akiba how many backup files to, to keep. So by default, it's three. So for example, if your site is uh, your site's a five megabyte site, um, you'll be storing your site plus uh, three backups. So um, you know, 15 megabytes worth of data will be on your server. So uh, if you do have a server with limited storage, this is where you would change your, uh, your settings. And the rest of the stuff we can just leave right as the defaults. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and create our first backup.
And it's very important to not navigate away from this page while the backup is running. Just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes depending on the size of your site. All right, and our backup was completed successfully. So let's head it over to our administrator so we can take a look at our backup file. And here's the, uh, the record of uh, when it was backed up. See, we have one backup file and our total site, our site, uh, the size of our site is 11.62 megabytes. So as I mentioned before, depending on the storage space on your server, you may want to uh, set it to maybe you only keep record of two backups or, uh, or less or more, depending on how much server space uh, you have. And that about does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or problems, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, make sure to stay tuned because uh, I'll be releasing two more videos on Akiba Backup. Uh, the next one will be about how to schedule site backups using a cron job on your server. And the following tutorial will be about uh, restoring your site from an Akiba Backup file. So definitely want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.